It's the early part of September and the season's rolling around here real quick. And um, my buddy Josh just got a picture of this giant eight pointer about a mile down the road down in the bottom fields. I'm pretty excited because normally once they harvest, they work up this way, but he's got a bunch of bucks down there. Uh, tomorrow I'm gonna go help him hang stands and uh, put up cameras and, and do some stuff. But as of right now, we're trying to get our farm ready for this upcoming season. We put in a food plot, we uh, brush hogged all the thickets and got, got opened up some lanes and opened up our farm so deer can travel through there a lot nicer. But I, I'm pretty excited. We're we hung some stands, we're having a lot of fun, season's rolling around and we're really excited for this year. You know one of my favorite things in this entire world to say when I climb up in this tree stand is that I feel 20 feet closer to God. If you don't feel the way I'm feeling, when you're sitting in a tree stand you do not have a pulse man. We'll be here for four hours. No, we're not. Look, just give her a little, little juice here. I think I went the wrong way. You don't want that there. Okay. So you put two here. The ladder's pretty much put together. I'll come to I'm glad somebody's going to. My life's in shambles right now. Oh my gosh, I've been undoing it. What's that, an 11? Hey, it was an 11. Huh? It was an 11. That's a pretty good guess with, uh, with just the eyeball there. No, this was for my tree stand. <laughs> <laughs> you could get that for me? Oh my goodness. I, I realize now the bolt does, doesn't really need to go in there. That's actually for nothing. We really probably should have it here so the actual stand stays together. <laughs> My bad. You either have them on backwards. It's supposed to go and match up right there. Yeah, pretty close. The, uh... We've given up hope on that. Josh's tree stand. <laughs> it's not the safest. It's not well put together. Missing a couple of nuts and bolts. We don't know if it's the directions or if it was just Josh's uh, user error. Yeah. So we're gonna go put up a climber slash blind. Um, but my stands are fine. His stands are good. <laughs> we'll be safe in those ones. This thing broke too. This guy, I'm gonna get out of work next. Did you first day with the blind bud? Let me show you, that's a big man's dream. Dude, less climbing, less calorie. Oh. <laughs> That buck that was down at Josh's, that big eight pointer, has now moved up onto the farm that I have permission to hunt. Uh, we're a good three miles away from where he's got a picture of that buck, and he that just goes to show how much bucks will travel. Um, we're a couple days out from season, so it's a good sign to finally get a shooter buck on your property. And he's been showing up in daylight, so we'll see what happens. It's going to be a fun year. You just hook it like that. Let me get it close. I'll get it close when we're up there. You ready? Well, we just came in here for a hanging hunt this morning. We've got a really big eight pointer coming in here. We got 
shut in here an extra early. Should be a good morning. God has blessed us with a great, great morning here in the Denver. I am truly, truly blessed. I just cross my fingers, cross my toes, cross my eyes, and cross my arms that I hope this big eight pointer comes in here. I've got one buck in my mind and He's been showing up here just about every single day.
let you do that. I was perfectly on him. You shot right over him. I know. What? Why did you shoot? He was gonna turn. incredible but 